Hey, what are you doing down there? Uh, checking if there's any other uh, broken parts in there. All right, man, get to it. Tell me what you find. This is... See anything? Uh, not really. You check the transmission? Where's the transmission? Thank you for tuning in everyone, especially if this is the first time you've ever checked out a Trash Panda Garage video, we appreciate it. Some of you who've watched some of our previous videos may be aware that we're converting a 2006 Nissan Frontier from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive. In order to make that happen, we had to modify the oil pan to create enough clearance for a front differential. The modifications to the oil pan were pretty significant. We lost, by my estimates, at least 30% of our overall engine oil capacity. For that reason, we have not been putting many miles on the truck, just uh, short trips to the gas station, the parts store, or coffee. My plan to recover some of this lost oil capacity is to install a remote oil filter. In my search for parts, I came across this Earl's Plumbing Remote Filter Bracket that fits a K&N HP3001 filter. Here you can see the size of the K&N oil filter next to a factory size oil filter on the left. My hope is that between this larger filter and the hose that'll have to run to mount it to the frame rail, I'll gain back at least a quart of my lost oil capacity. The next step is to fabricate a bracket that will allow me to mount the Earl's bracket to my frame rail. So things are moving along pretty well for a one day project until I realized that I ordered a remote filter spin on adapter with the wrong thread specs. So with this project grinding to a bit of a halt for the day, Grady and I decided to head down to our local Harbor Freight. We needed a specific part for Project Dirt Rango, our Gambler 500 build. If you're not familiar with this build of the race, you should check out our most recent episode, episode eight. And a few days later, thanks to Summit Racing, we had the correct part in hand, a Earl's Plumbing remote filter spin on adapter with a 20 millimeter by 1.5 thread spec. So with the correct parts in hand, Grady and I crawled back under the truck to install everything, checking and double checking that the hoses are routed correctly per the instructions that Earl's included with the spin on adapter. After we filled the truck back up with oil and restarted it, I did discover a few drips, which means I had to go back in and reseal and tighten a couple of the fittings. I'm gonna drive the truck for a few days and hopefully work out any air bubbles that might be present in the system. I'll report back on our Instagram account at some point in the future as to how much of our oil capacity I think we may have regained. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next episode of Trash Panda Garage. Uh, anything else we should be concerned about? I'm just going to look at the parts, which are kind of part of the engine. Yeah. Does it pass inspection? Are we good? Uh, yeah.